pause. <laughs> we pause. Have a look at that. <laughs> I'm not going to miss stairs putting Mrs. Bonneville over my shoulder most nights when she's had too much gin. I don't think she's from Sheffield, you know. I think she's not Yorkshire because she spends money. Pocket inside. So I could put one of those inside the pocket in the vest and one at the back and it worked wonders. We just need to win the lottery, Mrs. Bonneville. That's all we need to win. So we can get a narrow boat, we can get a wide beam and we can get one of those. What do you think? That is beautiful. <laughs> Did you miss us? Where are we, Mrs. Bonneville? Newark. We're at Newark Marina. We're going to go into Newark in a minute to the locks and the canal, but we're having a quick look around Newark Marina. Wow, these uh, these cruiser boats, whatever they're called, are lovely. Right, as usual, before we do start, thank you ever so much for the comments on last week's uh, vlog. Really appreciate it. All the new subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you. Subscribe to Mrs B on her social media and maybe think social about <laughs> maybe think about hitting that subscribe button and the bell because it's free right newark marina let's go and have a little wander around oh and by the way this week's vlog this week's vlog is actually us giving you guys a little bit back we've got some uh, some top tips for you that um hopefully may help and make your lives a little bit better mm. Mm. right let's go and have a look at uh, newark marina all the posh white cruiser boats whatever they're called Wow, look at that. Do you need to black that? <laughs> no, they're not for us. Very nice, but not for us. We are now going to go down to the locks. Newark Marina. Very nice, but um, come on, Mrs. B. Let's go. Where are we going? Newark locks. We're going, we're going into Newark and we're going because they've got a castle, a lovely castle by the side of the canal and the locks and stuff. So, and we'll be able to see more narrow boats there. Very good. And as I say, in this bag, in this bag, We've got some top tips. Serious, we've got some top tips for boaters out there. Right, see you in a minute. We have been watching, we're not going to name the boat tubers, but we've been watching a number of boat tubers over the last few weeks, few months. And of course, we are at various stages in those uh, catalogues mm. on those channels. And we've been watching a few recently that have been, not, not complaining, but have been a little bit, let's say, oh, it's a bit cold. We thought we would give some back, some comments and some tips and some suggestions back because the boaters out there that have helped us out so far, fantastic. So we thought we'd uh, give you guys a little bit of, um, I don't know. Um, Tip, tips on keeping warm. Yeah, tips on keeping warm. Now, hold on a minute. In this bag, Ooh. in this bag, we have got a few tips on how to keep warm on the back of your narrow boat or other boat or whatever boat you've got. Or just to keep him warm in general. <laughs> yeah, because trust me, Mrs. Bonneville. I'm Nesh. Yeah, she's I Nesh. Am so Nesh. She is. Right, anyway, that's what this uh, vlog is all about. And, and for a little bit of fun, we've started to second guess what are some of the things we won't miss uh, when we move from land to water. So we're going to cover that off as well. Anything else, Mrs. B? No. no. Right, we'll see you. <laughs> we'll, s <laughs> we'll see you down by um, the River Trent. Yes. All right, see you in a minute. See yeah, it's, look, it's there. Just here, that's where we are. There. That's the River Trent. <laughs> Is it the River Trent? Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely the River yeah, Trent. Definitely. See you in a minute. Goodbye. <laughs> I think what we should do is our very first, what we think we're not going to miss for when we move from land to water. Utilities. Utility oh, companies. companies. Yeah. I, don't, I hate dealing with utility companies. Yeah, we are not going to miss utility companies. Definitely Absolutely not. Absolutely. Number, it's probably number one on our mm -hmm. list of what we know we're not going to miss. I know this is probably a little bit random, but please chuck your comments below. Love to know what you didn't miss if you are on the water, or indeed you are planning to go onto the water, what you're not going to miss. Newark is the largest place in Europe for antique fairs, so it's the largest place in Europe, and they actually do six fairs per year. Largest wow. place in Europe. Very good. Largest antiques fair in Europe? Yeah. Wow. yeah, and they do it six times a year. But we've actually seen here um, Antiques Roadshow, haven't we? Antiques um, 
Road, road trip. trip. Oh, we love antiques road trip. Love Don't it. judge us. <laughs> uh, uh, actually, when I say that, who doesn't like antiques road trip? Oh, for our Phil, viewers. Phil Sale. For our viewers. For our viewers further afield, Google antiques road trip. Love the format. Love it. Obviously behind is the uh, ruins of uh, Newark Castle. Looks amazing at night, lit up. Really does. Lovely. Really is nice. This is Bonneville Luck itching to get on camera to say something. Um, it was actually built in 1123. I knew that. In 1123. I knew that. Oh, we're coming up to a lock. Even we know this is a lock. Let me just flip you around. Let me just show you what, uh, what we're coming up to, folks. And by the way, even me and Mrs. B wouldn't go wrong with this signage. What signage? Mrs. I didn't, Bonneville, Mrs. I didn't Bonneville see it. said, "What signage? <laughs> do you like a new? Do you like a new sunglasses? By the way, they're, they're actually mine, but um, I felt a bit sorry for her because their other ones were." Yeah. yeah. Anyway. So he's given me his. I've got his cast-offs. They're not cast-offs, and by the way, um, they're only loan. Just see how you deal with them, uh, see how you get on with them in the sunlight because I do worry about Mrs. Bonneville's eyes. She oh, can't see a thing, can't we hear a to... thing. It's like that film. <laughs> <laughs> see how you know. You know you I'm going to be, I'm going to be can't. the one providing the, when I, the when support. I'm, when I'm doing my social media, I'm like that without my glasses on. <laughs> I can't see a thing. And I go, what was that you said? And, and what was that? And at night, the TV. Good God, dear me. Yeah, but is it just me, right? Listen to this. <laughs> So you're watching a film or you're watching a programme or something like that and it's it's just a nice level. Then the adverts come on and it suddenly goes bah! and then you turn it right down then the programme comes back on again and then it's really, really low. That's not just me. That's not what? my earring. That's a blooming TV. One thing you. we're definitely having is a TV in the bedroom on the narrowboat, without a doubt. Right, let's go and have a look at this, uh, this lock. What's going on here? Come on, Mrs B. That's a lock, isn't it? That is a lock. Doesn't look to be anything coming through or approaching, which is a shame. <laughs> we've we've developed a real fascination, seriously, with locks. And we were just saying to one another, I don't think we're gonna do a river <laughs> for quite a while. <laughs> I just don't trust us on a river. I really don't. Well, we're not ready. We oh, need we, we need are. our we need our day on um, on someone's boat, whether it be with Willow Wren. And by the way, thank you for the comments on that um, and suggestions. But yeah, we need a day on a boat, don't we? Yeah. We really do. We've, but um, we're not ready for this. We've just started watching um, Narrowboat Experience yes. with, uh, with the two girls, and we're sort of like four years away. So that's because <laughs> we, we watched. Just only started. Them We've mm. just started watching last night. We've watched probably about seven or eight, haven't we? And girls, if you if you catch this or anybody that knows them catch this. It's brilliant, and we yeah. love your cats. Your cats yeah. are oh, amazing. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, very very watchable, very yeah. likable girls. Yeah. Very nice. We have done. Um, we finished all of Wild Duck Diaries. Mm -hmm. We finished Float in Your Boat. Yeah. We have finished Foxes. Last night, before we started to watch the Narrowboat Experience, we finished cruising the cut. Yeah. So um, we're really up to speed. And seriously, we do mean this. We love all of them. Yeah. And we actually do think they're very very educational. We've, Funny, but also feel, very educational. We feel like we've. We've, we've learned so much. Yeah, yeah, we have. Just, just by watching the, yeah, uh, yeah. the vlogs. I mean, obviously we haven't, and we haven't experienced things, but, but we've just loved it, haven't we, watching yeah, them? it's been fantastic. And now we can't wait now for Friday when they all come out, can we? <laughs> but the girls, like I said, the narrowboat experience, very, just very started. watchable, very likeable yeah, yeah. girls. And, and we've got four years with to watch it. That's we have. Great. Let's go and have a look at these locks. We'd like to say and share a little bit more detail, but we haven't got a clue what we're looking at. We're just gonna, we're just gonna film them. That's a fair point, isn't it? Oh, that is a fair point. That is funny, that. I like that. A bit of humour. Right, we're going to go find a little place to sit down, and I can see one. And we're going to take you through our first little item, which we think will make your life 
particularly if you're a boater and you're a continuous cruiser and you're cruising through the winter months, which let's face it, can be any month of the year in the UK. <laughs> it's now. Yeah, we're going to take you through a few bits and pieces that we think might help you because you've helped us. You really have helped us for the last few weeks. So let's uh, hopefully give a little bit back. Right, let's go and find somewhere to sit and we'll take you through it. I know on the back of a narrowboat, it's two, three, maybe four miles an hour maximum. Um, and we have heard a couple of boat tubers maybe complain about um, it being cold. Just try, if you're not a biker, to imagine wind blast on a motorbike at 60, 70 miles an hour. You tend to know if you've got good kit and you tend to know very quickly uh, when you need to replace that kit. So we thought we would take you through a couple of suggestions and in no particular order. Let me start with keeping your feet warm. Now yeah. these, fabulous. <laughs> yeah, fabulous. these are seal skin socks. They come in various sizes. We've got the ones that just come up just below the knee. You can get ankle ones, you can get above the knee, you can get all sorts. They're not cheap. Go and have a look at seal skin um, promotional video. You will see folk literally walking through streams and rivers with just these on they're that good you guys particularly those that are currently on a boat and are currently going through what we're going through you've offered up some fantastic mm. comments and suggestions so yeah. we're just trying to give just a little bit back ignore us if you wear these ignore us of course if you've got other things that you do wear in fact drop us a comment if you you know if you think there's something out there that's going to keep your feet warm and dry better than seal skin we'd really love to hear from you anyway that's item number one seal skin socks You've got to be careful that things haven't weed on them, but I think there's too much health and safety around at the moment. In our day, we used to eat mud and everything. In Mrs. Bonneville's day, and I'm not joking, her mum, God bless her, lovely lady, her mum used to send Mrs. Bonneville and her sister out at the crack of dawn and tell her to come back when the street lights had come on. Bring back those days. Not, not quite the crack well, of dawn. Well, you know what I mean. Used to pack us up with sandwiches yeah. and go, right, off you go with the dogs, take the dogs, we've got a mongrel. I'm not quite sure what she was, she was all sorts of different breeds. A border collie, me and my sister, and the next door neighbour, Jane. And we used to go off exactly. and have fun and build, you know, tree Can't houses. do that now, can you? Mm. Right, so, come on, let's, oh. Oh, I think I've seen some wide beams. Oh dear. Never quite know how Mrs Bonneville's going to handle a wide beam. Come on, Right, so, number two in terms of our suggestions um, is gloves. We've done feet. Keep your feet dry, keep your feet warm. And I'm going to keep saying it as bikers, it's it's the first rule, warm, dry feet and warm, dry hands. Um, our gloves are traditional motorbike gloves. They are Gore-Tex, but they'll do a number of things. They'll keep your hands dry and they'll keep your hands warm pretty much all day. And, and again, flexible. yeah, they are. Some of the gloves, obviously, if you're a biker, some of them have got armor in. These have got protective qualities, but look, um, we've been all over, all over the place. In fact, I've clipped some footage in here in terms of some of the, let's just say, inclement weather we've had to endure. Through the Alps when it rains. Yeah, and, and again, <laughs> Please don't take us, please don't take this the wrong way. When we watched something the other night, someone was saying, you know, I'm stood on the back of my boat um, for two or three hours. Try to imagine if you're not a biker being sat on a motorbike at 60, 70 mile an hour. In the rain. In, in the rain, in the snow, blah, 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 and the wind chill. You really do know when you've got good gloves. And these, as I say, I'd recommend them every day. Get the ones that haven't got so much armor in if you are on the back of the boat and be prepared to spend out, but these will last you. The other thing, I don't use these, but Mrs. Bonneville does, are these, and any decent um, outdoor shop, you've all seen those probably. They last, how long do they last, Mrs. B? About eight hours. I actually got a vest, a vest top, and I put like, I sewed like a little pocket inside, so I could put one of those inside the pocket in the vest and one at the back, and it worked wonders. Yeah, absolutely. You've got to be we... careful because they're very hot and they can burn your skin, so put yeah. them, Put some material yeah, that's, them. that's a really good point and we are going to come on to a couple of suggestions that we certainly 
use in terms of undergarments. But again, Mrs. B's right, that was a genius idea actually. She did sew two little pockets inside into the top this. inside <laughs> and pop those in. So we've done feet, we've done hands, we will do a few other items in a moment. It's getting a bit windy. Right, see you shortly. Do, do people live on those, that size? I know there's Aussie Boater, um, but yeah, I'd love to know. Do folk live on those uh, kind of full-time liverboards? To us, they seem a little bit small, but uh, yeah, I'd love your comments. Because um, I say, we did have a little look at the marina, uh, Newark Marina with all the cruisers, and we were pleasantly surprised with some of the prices. Anyway, come on, let's go. Mrs. Bonneville's waiting. She stood to attention waiting for me. She's, um, She's on one today. And by the way, thanks for asking the house sale. Well, the house sale's progressing a stage further. That's all we're gonna say. So uh, everything's on track and then it will be all systems go. We'll have a couple of breakdowns probably. I've, I've already had 10. <laughs> I've had 10 breakdowns already. Actually, Mrs. Bonneville has slept the last couple of nights throughout the evening yeah. without having to get up and watch MASH at three o'clock in the morning. Oh, something random. Or something very random. So that's a good sign. I haven't been grinding my teeth. She's not been grinding teeth like an old donkey. Oh, Let's just hope I've stopped stressing. She may have turned a corner. What have we done? We've done socks, we've done hands, we've done gloves. I hope you find this useful, as I say. This is just us trying to give you guys a little bit uh, back. Um, these things are called wind jammers or knackers. Um, again, they're not cheap. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to put it on. simple as that now obviously when we're on the motorbike don't think you want to stand on the back of your boat like that but again if you are suffering from cold or you do suffer from the elements these are amazing so that's item number three a wind stopper brilliant right onwards and upwards actually should we do the next item now we've got We've only got two more items. We always, always wear, let me just show you. This is actually Mrs. Bonneville's um, kind of undergarment. Other brands are available. Again, if you're a biker, you will have heard of this. This is Oxford and we couldn't recommend these enough. And of course, long johns as well. Oh, I love my long johns. Yeah, the long johns, same, same brand. Um, jeans, yeah, trousers. Oxford. Now, again, we're not, we're not flexing, if that is the right phrase. This brand here, Hopefully it's caught that. Uh, this is Merino wool. They wick all of the moisture away. Um, even on, last year we were in uh, the Alps and it was around about 35, 36 degrees. And these are amazing. And again, here's another one, um, same brand. Can't recommend these enough. So again, if you're on the, oh, excuse me. <laughs> if you are on the back of the boat and you are feeling a little bit cold or you're suffering because it's too warm, Invest maybe in one of these because they are amazing. Merino wool, I say you can get that type or you can get the mesh type. Can't recommend them enough. So that hopefully, hopefully hasn't come across as though we're patronizing or, but we've um, been on bikes for 30 years. And as I say, we watched, we have watched a number of boat tubers recently, not complaining, but they have suggested that they felt a little bit cold and a little bit uncomfortable on the back of the boat. And we have sat there at home and gone, Really? When you are outdoors all day on the back of a motorbike, as Mrs. Bonneville is, and I'm riding it, you tend to know whether you've got good kit and you tend to know very quickly um, what part of your body, particularly your hands and your feet, and around, as I say, your neck, um, you're going to need kit. Right, over and out, as Mrs. Bonneville will say, <laughs> and we will see you shortly. Can I just say, just, just before we, we carry on, uh, what was really funny, before we, um, before we invested in a, a lot of this equipment and stuff, and you go with sort of like, oh, we'll be fine with this. It's 10 quid, it's 20 quid. 
one of our trips to our street was so funny. We were in a place called Zamalzi. Zamalzi. Zalamze. Zalamze. And, um, and it absolutely threw it down with rain. Now, we didn't have waterproof boots and we didn't have the sealskin socks. So we popped in this shop and we said to the guy, can we buy some of your carrier bags? And he said, what? And I said, we can we buy? Yes, of course you can. We stood across the road in the car park and put the, proceeded to put these carrier bags on our feet and then our boots and then carrier bags over our boots. Picture that. <laughs> yeah, we did. Correct. We did, we did. Now we're a bit more sensible. Yes, we anyway, are. Anyway, over and out. Bye. Bye. You, one of my little things that I won't miss about living on the land. And it's going to probably sound a bit strange, but I will not miss keeping up with the Joneses. There you go. For those that know that phrase, you'll know exactly what I mean. For those that don't, maybe Google it. But um, yeah, keeping up with the Joneses, just not going to miss that. Not that where we live, that's at play, by the way. It's more of a broader, just fed up of all that stuff. I really am. This one-upmanship that goes on. So I won't miss that. I really won't. So please don't be telling me that when we uh, do get our narrowboat, there's going to be keeping up with the Joneses on the marina or on the cut because it just doesn't give us that impression at all. So I'm not going to miss that. Mrs Bonneville, have you got any more? Uh, yeah, not driving as much. <sighs> yeah, not I driving. Ate the roads. I yeah. ate them, I ate yeah. them. And do you know, poor old Mr Bonneville, you still have to work and you'll be on the M1 car <laughs> park. Yeah. But I was the same when I worked. I spent, I spent hours and hours and hours and hours and hours just sat in traffic jams yeah. and I just ate it. I just Traffic. Ate it. I don't care if I never use the car again. <laughs> right, there you go. More to follow in terms of what we think we won't miss about living on the land when we go and live on the water. God, you know what? Look at my face, it is hot. Now then, just get on my phone because it is that time of the vlog. It is viewers' questions or question. This week comes from Robert and Katie Stevenson uh, via the YouTube comment, uh, comment. Sorry. So, Robert and Katie, thank you. Thank you. The question is, you seem to have a very clear view and approach with YouTube trolls. Uh, does it bother you when you get the odd negative comment because you do seem to stamp it out rather quickly? Now look, um, great question. Mm. We have touched on it. Sorry, moving my hand. We've touched on it before. We did have a motorcycle channel and we did get the odd troll on that. Uh, there's three types. There's the idiot that sits in the back bedroom and we do, I do stamp out that very quickly. I give a response and then I ban them. And I'll be honest with you, we haven't had to do it that often, um, but it has happened. Then you get the odd, what I call, um, professional keyboard warrior um, who probably still sits in the back bedroom, if you know what I mean, <laughs> and just likes to comment on other folks' um, efforts. We know we're not everyone's cup of tea, and that's absolutely fine. Um, you know, YouTube is an enormous platform, and if Love Life Triumph aren't for you, move on. Because we watch YouTube channels that aren't for us, and we move on. Mm. We don't sit there and um, troll them. I just think that is really, really poor. Mm. Um, you know, we welcome feedback. I've had some feedback very recently. Forgive me, I can't remember the young lady's name about me moving my hands around an awful lot. <laughs> I'm going to try. No, that's good feedback. I yeah, don't mind is. that feedback. We've had feedback recently in terms of the audio on one of our videos. Brilliant feedback. Mm. Keep that stuff coming because that's really, really useful. And then the third type, um, in fact, I'm going to mention someone, so just give me two seconds. We had, we had a lovely, lovely, uh, let me just have a little look down here, ba, 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 ba. Lisa Wollaston um, and her husband. We had a fantastic uh, comment the other day from Lisa, who is in exactly, sorry, Lisa and her husband, assume it's your husband, Lisa, sorry. Um, Lisa is in the same position as us, household, actually got the boat, not jealous, Lisa. <laughs> Um, and we had a, a lovely exchange of um, comments um, and that for us is why we do YouTube. Mm. Um, we love that interaction, we love the community side of it. Um, so there's three types as I say, there's the darn right idiot, immediate ban, because if there's anything offensive towards my, my lovely wife or indeed me, they're gone. Um, and as I say, type two, um, professional YouTube trolls, <laughs> keyboard warriors, but also um, we love the feedback. If, if folk want to give us feedback and it's constructive, Absolutely. bring it on. Absolutely. And then there's the third, as I say, there's the third and final type, 
that we love and 99% of what we get on YouTube this this approach with mortar to water and when we had the motorcycle channel 99% of folk out there are nice folk mm. so yes we deal with them quickly um, I ban them and what does make us laugh sometimes is they continue to correspond with us but it doesn't go anywhere <laughs> <laughs> um, judge me if you will um, but I do see the odd folk uh, the odd person that we have banned because they've been darn right disrespectful and they keep banging out comments that they think are going on to our channel mm. all that actually does is um, thumbs up for the analytics anyway great question yeah, thank you very, thank you for it Mrs Bonneville anything you want to add to yeah, that yeah first I, I used to think why are they putting the thumbs down or why are they saying such horrible things or you know and, and it, it can get to you but I think the more you just try and wash it off or you know you've just got to you just got to ignore it you've just got to think it's not personal it's just that's just how they are and you're right there's those three aren't there yeah yeah it is hurtful because we'd all like to be liked by everybody all of the time and you're never going to be liked by everybody all of the time so you just got to get your head around that seriously do not let it affect your life because there really are some idiots out there but there's far more lovely genuine nice people what do i always say mom always used to say to me and it's so true this there are more good people out there than yeah. there are bad yeah absolutely so true. thank you for your question thank you. right we are now going to carry on oh by the way we've come over to uh, our new home or home to be willington <laughs> we're down by the um, canal um so we're not far from mercy <laughs> marina right we've got a few other bits and pieces to um kind of top and top I'll pick up before we go but seriously thank you for the question and thank as you. always keep the questions coming right see you in a minute goodbye stairs <gasps> stairs yeah. Yeah. not gonna miss stairs yeah. definitely not yeah. not, not gonna miss stairs at all are you although it, it is good for working out yeah glutamus maximus go, go to a shopping central walk up a pair <laughs> I'm not gonna miss stairs I'm quite looking forward to being really really um what's the word minimalist um you know because we, we're not hoarders anyway, we, we can just throw things doesn't away. doesn't fit into the category of the question, does it? No, but, but what I'm not going to miss is having lots of stuff around me. Oh. Uh, you know what I mean? That's what I'm not going to miss. So I'm quite happy just to be as yeah. minimal as possible. That's true, because we've both had a clear out, haven't we? Yeah, not just clothes, what? but everything. No, I didn't mean... I didn't, that makes it sound uh, like we've had a poo. We've just, <laughs> we've just sat opposite the Elsan as well. What's the matter with it? Uh, right, so I think that concludes with what we think we won't miss uh, when uh, we move on to water from our current land abode. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, seriously, let us know. We'd love to know what you haven't missed. We really would. Um, we could have gone on with quite a few others, but we won't. We really won't. Oh, it's starting to rain. Mrs. Bonner will get big hair, Monica, friends uh, hair, coming soon. It's yeah. Right. yeah, but it does, yeah. Go, it does go really big. I think... Oh, sorry about my glowy face. I think that's about it. As usual, um, maybe think about subscribing. Hit that bell icon for notifications. Follow you know who on uh, social media, Instagram, Twitter, etc., etc. And we do genuinely, genuinely want to say this. Um, thank you ever so much for sticking with us because we haven't got. I'm trying to point at this boat here. We haven't got one of them yet but we're not that far away. So thanks for sticking with us. Thanks for the positive comments. Yeah. And above all, the suggestions for, from those folk that have got boats and those folk that Thank haven't. You, yeah. Thank you. We're learning so much. We are, we? yeah. This is Bonneville, say goodbye. Goodbye. We will see you next week. <gasps> yeah. Goodbye. Oh, look at that. And uh, one look day. A cruiser stern. Soon, so, is that a cruiser stern? Yeah, that's a cruiser stern. <gasps> Yay. Oh. That's what we want. Right, Cruise we're going to go and we're going to go and follow him. We do yeah. follow boats now, you know. Yeah, we just that sounds wrong, doesn't it? We're going to go and stalk him. We're not going to stalk him at all. We're just going to go and look at his cruiser stern. Goodbye. <laughs> I don't think she's from Sheffield, you know. I think she's not Yorkshire because she spends money. I talk from the way I talk. I hope you sound like I talk from. Lego, come with me. Right, goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. She's doing one. This is Bonneville. Uh, <laughs> we, we did rehearse this. <laughs> no, we didn't. Uh, Mrs. Bonneville does tend to speak very quietly or off camera. She just shouts at me. She's become shouty. Come on, this side. Mrs. Bonneville interrupted me. Right. Oh. Now she's worried about me putting any of this in, which I probably won't. I'm just having a ramble to camera. Right, goodbye. We were just saying, I don't think we're quite ready um, for a river. Anything. <laughs> <laughs>
it's true. We won't miss the endless amounts of housework. And believe you me, I do my fair share, don't I, my love? You, come on, tell the viewers. I don't mind picking a vacuum up. Do you know what it is? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>